Hey, it's Jasmine. I'm here at Druitt Hill Park, where Carver's Carpentry Program is in the final stages of building a learning center featuring a 188-year-old tree. But this project really began a few weeks ago back in the wood shop at Carver. Here, students built the frame, sanded the white oak, applied a finish, and set the section of white oak into place. Correct measurements, correct cuts, you know, make sure your cut's smooth, nice and even. This is pressure treated lumber, it's drop proof so it'll last very long. And the foundation going in the ground so we gotta have it where there's no insects and over time it'll still last. Before taking it out to Druid Hill Park, a final check on height and some thoughts on the history of the tree and what it might mean for people visiting the park. It's history of the pup. Most of us, so when people come, they're going to see, oh, wow, this 188 years old. Just looking at the wood, they can feel on it, touch on it. You know, most things that are on the earth don't let, uh, survive that long. So that's why I'm really excited about getting more people back to the pub to come see this. And also, not only see this, but be inspired. Let's, let's go out more. On the day of the big installation, with the students eager to get the learning center in place, they quickly realized adjustments needed to be made. I think we want it lower. Huh? Lower? I think we want it lower. Right? You want to go a little lower? I mean, this is like our height, but kids' height. When we got here, we had to problem solve because the holes could only be dug to a certain depth, and it wasn't the depth that we expected or wanted. So they had to adapt and figure out a solution, and a few hand saws later, we uh, got what we needed. And then the team took care of leveling, attaching signage, and filling around the post with concrete. Now this learning center, made with a section from a 188-year-old white oak tree, will sit inside a beautiful nature play space for kids, designed by Baltimore Rec and Parks. Nice and natural environment for kids to jump around on. And, and we created this one around this um, uh, giant uh, white oak log, that, white oak tree that fell, and we left the tree in place and designed the playground around the tree. The carpentry students explain the significance behind the project and how it can impact kids coming to the play space. The experience is wonderful. This is my first project actually dealing with a slice of a tree. <laughs> When we was drilling it, I was like kind of scared it was going to crack over and so how thick it was, can it support the certain bolts and stuff like that. Kids can come back, they can learn about the oak tree, enjoy being at this park, having fun, and they can learn a little history. Giving back to the community is a big thing, so I appreciate it. At the end of the day, this experience gives notice that our carpentry students are talented and trained to take on any project. That wood shop that those kids have uh, an opportunity to, to learn in is um, pretty fantastic. Uh, I love it. It's, it's great exposure for us to let people know how talented my kids are. There's literally nothing they can't or haven't made. I had a first-hand experience today, and I hope anyone watching this will come down to the Nature Play Space at Druitt Hill Park and get a little slice of Baltimore history, all thanks to Carver Carpentry and Baltimore Rex and Parks. This has been Jasmine LaPrate for the City School Student Media Team. See you next time.